everybody. This video is going to be an overview of some popular yoga poses so that hopefully you can practice them and then just feel more comfortable with yoga. So why is yoga good for you? There's so many reasons yoga is good for you. So breathing itself is good just to get us relaxed, more into um, out of the anxiety state into the relaxed state. So a lot of people when they have pain or discomfort are in what's called their sympathetic nervous system, which is more commonly known as fight or flight. That is the system that helps us to run fast, run away from a dog, whatever that may be. Our parasympathetic is more, more known as our rest and digest. So it calms us, it gets us relaxed, our heart rate comes down, it really helps to decrease anxiety and sometimes pain. So breathing itself really helps with that. Yoga is also good for flexibility. It's good for core strength. It's very good for core strength. Some people think yoga looks easy. Well, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Um, it's always not so easy. Some people think they're not flexible enough to do yoga, which is hilarious because yoga helps you become flexible. Just give it a try. Uh, everybody's practicing yoga, okay? Some days it's good, some days it's hard, some days our balance is a struggle. We're just practicing and giving ourselves some reward and some improvement in flexibility, mobility. Again, breathing techniques helping to shut our minds off. So many, many, many good reasons to do yoga. So this video is gonna show you some of the basic yoga poses. So we're gonna start with what's called a forward fold and then I'm gonna also talk to you about your breathing. So your feet are a little bit wider than your hips. When we breathe in yoga, and in general, we should try to take an inhale for at least eight or 10 pounds. And it's really important to exhale for that eight or 10 pounds to really get all that, you know, exhale all that air out so we can get a nice, good, slow breath. Okay, so let's start with the forward fold. Inhale up. And exhale forward fold. Let's practice that one more time. Inhale up. And exhale forward fold. Okay, that's a really good common one that we incorporate into other yoga poses. Okay, next yoga pose we're gonna do is a tree pose. So yoga involves a lot of balance as well. So tree pose, you're gonna balance on one leg and you always want a soft leg so the knee is bent. You shouldn't lock your knees out at any time. So we're gonna start with hands at center. Now, the other thing when you're doing yoga poses is we should try to focus on just the pose, try to shut our minds off. That's where that breathing comes in. So right here, we're gonna center ourselves. We're gonna find a place to focus. Sometimes what I'll do is find a place on the floor or the wall, just so you can really focus there. The tree pose, you have your toe on the ground, on your calf, on your knee, or if you're flexible, you can bring that leg onto your thigh, okay? Now, the important part with the tree pose is to be real tall, like a healthy tree, shoulders are back and down. Don't let the shoulders come up here. And then this bent knee, you wanna pull it back so you open up your hips into a nice open stretch. And then sometimes with yoga, we'll incorporate some breathing, moving of our arms, different things like that. So that's the basic tree pose. Okay, next one is chair pose. Your feet are together. Sometimes uh, we'll have you put your feet in different positions. This is a good strengthening exercise. So our arms are out in front. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed, they're not up here. And we're gonna take a breath in and we're gonna sink down into the chair pose. So it's like a squat or like you're sitting on a chair. You wanna make sure the weight is distributed evenly through your feet that you're not too far forward or too far back. And then you're gonna breathe. And this is another one of those where you find that focus point. Okay, that's the chair pose. Awesome, okay, next one. We're gonna go through our warrior series. The warrior poses are real common in yoga. Front foot forward, the back one is turned a little bit. You wanna be able to feel a stretch in your calf. We're gonna open our chest. So it's really important in your warrior positions that your chest is really open. We're gonna take a breath. And then we're gonna come into the, the lunge position. This is the position for the warrior. It's a nice, strong pose. Again, you're pulling your shoulders back. So you're activating your core muscles, you're working your legs, okay? Now, this is the, this is the first warrior pose. Second warrior pose, you're gonna breathe in, bring that top arm up. Again, when you're bringing the top arm up, keep that shoulder relaxed down. Our exhale, our hand goes on our leg. 
You can slide the hand down, find where you can really hold this good warrior pose, and we'll be holding that for a few breaths. So inhale up, exhale, slide the hand down. Good, all right. Next, we'll do arms overhead. We're still in that nice strong lunge. Take a breath in. Sometimes we'll have you exhale on a back bend. Okay, different variations there. The next warrior pose is warrior three. We're gonna come forward. So your arms are forward. You're gonna kick that leg back and pull your toes towards your nose. A lot of balance here, okay? So arms forward, leg is back. Pull your toes towards your nose. Your shoulders are down and back, away from your ears. Your belly button is nice and tight. Here's where you need to find a focus point as well. So just focus your mind on your balance. Okay? That's warrior three. I'll bring it from the front. So as high as you can get that leg, pull your toes back. This knee is soft. It's not locked up. Okay? Excellent. So that's your warrior series. Okay, now we're going to come down into a couple different poses here. So on all fours, we'll do cat camel, or some instructors call it cat cow. So you're going to round your back, tuck your head in your butt on your inhale. You're really pulling your abdominal muscles in. Exhale, arch. Lift your head. Good. Inhale, round the back using your abs. And then your exhale is your arch. Okay, of course, we would go slower than that. All right, next one. Relax your feet. We're going to sit back into what we call a prayer stretch. Your arms are forward. You're going to rest your head on the mat. You don't want any pain in your shoulders, so some people need to put their arms out a little bit. Some people like to put their hands together. Totally up to you. You're going to sit back on your heels, okay? Your head is resting on the mat. Some nice, good, deep breaths there. All right, then we, another one we can transition to from here is a child's pose. Rest your head on the ground, wrap your hands around. This is your child's pose. Very good for low back. Good. All right, next one, puppy dog. Very similar, except you're gonna bring your knees out um, more toward the outside of your mat. And instead of sitting back on your heels like the prayer stretch, we're gonna sit back with our backside, thinking about it coming more to the ceiling, bringing your arms down. So you can see with this one, my backside is high versus prayer stretch when it's low. Okay, this one is great for upper back. On your exhale, try to get your chest to the floor. Excellent, that's puppy dog. Okay, gonna give you a couple more very common ones. Next one is uh, cobra or some places we'll call it an up dog. Your hands are on either side of your shoulders. You're gonna take a breath in and press yourself up. Exhale, drop your hips. Good, so that's your cobra or up dog. We're gonna to go to down dog, another really popular one that does really, really good for, the, for your posterior chain, which is your back side muscles, which are tight. We're gonna uh, tuck our toes. We're gonna to come up into what's called an upside down V, or an upside, yeah, it looks, you should look like a triangle. So when you inhale, your tailbone should come to the ceiling. When you exhale, you should try to drop your heels toward the floor. Okay, so that's our down dog. All right, nice. Okay, now those are a lot of the basic ones that a lot of yoga instructors will use. Um, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So sometimes what we do is we flow it. Um, so I'm gonna show you a flow series that really helps with not only flexibility, but a lot of strength. So we're gonna start with the Cobra up. Exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes to a down dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, step forward with the left, forward with the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward, fold. Step back, come down. Let's repeat that. Cobra up. Exhale. Tuck your toes, down dog. Step forward with the left, forward with the right. Inhale, up. 
Exhale, forward fold. So that is sometimes referred to as a sun salutation. Um, and then I'm gonna show you one more uh, good flow um, that I like to use a lot to get some hip flexor and some strength. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna cobra up, exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes, down dog. Inhale, tailbone to ceiling. Exhale, let your heels drop to the floor. Inhale, come to plank. So we're gonna get some nice plank strength here. And then we're gonna exhale and take it down for four, three, two, and one. Cobra up, exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes, down dog. Inhale, lifting one leg up. On your exhale, you're gonna sweep it through. Now we're in what's called a strong half kneel. So I'm in a half kneel, but it's strong because my knee is straight. You can drop down into a really good hip flexor stretch. So you would do a half meal hip flexor or some instructors will do it this way just to get a little bit more of a strengthening kind of pose. Okay, now we're gonna inhale, lift it up. Hand to the ceiling. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, sweep your leg back to a plank. Nice, strong plank here. Our exhale, we're going down four, three, two, and one. So that is an example of a flow. And oftentimes instructors will do that flow multiple times so you get good at it um, and just really focus on breathing, core flexibility. Um, it's all just really, really good stuff. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Hopefully this tutorial practice will help and then you will be more comfortable trying yoga. Thanks.